but we still here though. What you looking for? Don't tell me you're looking for longs again. Nah. Yeah, don't hop into a trade offer. All right, my nice trade idea just got stopped out. It is what it is, one and done. I'm gonna see what it does. It could still go lower, but at this point, I'm just leaving it. I ain't really worried about it. I'm gonna just journal it. And go on with my day. Yeah, we're, we're two and one this week, so we'll see what happens. I'm up still 1%. And I'm holding the short still from yesterday, so whatever happens, we're going to see. Only time will tell. We'll be back for London session, see what we could do. Did it push? Oh, it pushed. Oh, that shit pushed. Let Come me see. On, I'm bearish. No dollar push, dollar pushed. Nah, I'm, I'm just good. Dollar pushed. That was the wrong thing. Dollar pushed. That's what I want to say. Perfect, perfect. I'm uh, bearish. Um, yeah, I thought that was thirty. I was like, oh shit. Thirty's gone. <laughs> Bro, I seen that. But look here. Look at the dollar. Fuck the other rest. But look at the dollar. Let me see. Though. Let me see. Is Bro. It? Damn. Yeah, that's gone. that's why I thought that was thirty. I was like, oh fuck no. Well, I mean, nigga. It was pushing and Nas was pushing with it. So it's like, see, Nas is saying, dropping now. That's why, that's why I don't trust the dollar. I'm getting nah, on Nas look, look. right now. Nah, don't. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. getting on Nas buys right now. Yeah, Nas buys right now is fire. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just got in. Fuck that. I'm bears. Okay, before anything, I just wanted to break the reasoning behind this trade down. So right here, we have, this is 420, this is Friday, 423. This is where I had the entry for shorts, but what was the reasoning behind it? So we're gonna go to the hour time frame. First things first, the main reason for the execution behind this trade was this one hour bearish order block that got created at 4 a.m., which was London session. And this is the move that caused price to have a wick up that ended up making this high of the day right up here at this moment, which created the high of the day during London session. So that is why I was believing that this order block along with that's not the only confirmation that's order block along with this one hour fair value gap the price traded into and filled in this order block and if you also just want to make it a little bit easier you could even refine this order block to the 50 percent just like that you could get an area that's even more refined and then if you go back to that 15 minute time frame you can see this also was aligning with that 930 so all of this happened this touched into the fair value gap touched into the order block and it respected the high of the day from london session at 9 30. so time and price that's the reasoning behind me entering the trade my stop loss was above these highs because like i said i didn't want to see the london highs get ran where was my target i was targeting this low down here overall that trade gave me about a 1 to 2.3 in a span of about 1 to 2 15 minute candles about 30 35 minutes give or take going to the 9 30 open and that was a trade idea from there. So just enjoy the rest of it now.
hungry. About to hit the beach with Luna. Enjoy the day. Get our mind right at the end of the week. Get my mind off of charts. Just mind off work. Enjoying the sun. Enjoying the time I got. Just had some good old McDonald's. Life is good. Yeah, we're about to take her to the doggy beach. Right over here. Have a good time. Come on, girl. Get out the water. <laughs> you like it, girl? You like the water? <laughs> what you do? What you do? Rocks. Nah, yeah, this shit hurt my feet. Even right now on the count, I was down. I hear these are all the trades from the week. So I was up 1% from the 18th. Then the next day, I took another trade 1%. The next day, that's when I took the span of three trades, took three losses, ended up down 2%. And then today, I took another one plus 1%. So now we're just sitting at break even, but I'm still holding this runner from the high of the week up here. Uh, this shit. You could barely see it, but we're just holding it. It's not really doing much right now. We're gonna see what this shit do long term, but I'm gonna close it before the day is over. But you can see it's floating 230, 13 points. This was the best trade. If I would have held it full margin, this shit would have been up. I ain't gonna lie. This shit would have been up, but neither neither there nor here. And this is a runner, so it is what it is. But break even for the week. We got three more weeks. We'll see what we can do. Hold on. I'm going to get it up on the FTMO website also. Let me get over here. Yeah, so we're on going right now. So far, we're roughly break even. Nothing too crazy. Consistency is at 67%, which isn't bad. We're just above. Our biggest little max loss was 2.3%. Max loss, one3 Five days on average win is still a little bit more than average loss. Here, let me zoom in. As you can see, 532 average profit, 526 average loss. Win rate 50% for the week, so break even. We'll see what happens with today's profit. 136. Yeah, we'll see. We have until May 16th, so we'll see what happens. Let's get to it.